So but there's two besides pro tem or one and no, pro tem? No, no, one and no. a pro tem. Okay, so yeah. I think we, we accomplished that, right? Yep. Okay. And I'm saying that we could do it for you if you, you know, for the other elections. And I think if one of you were, were there for a third of the day, each mm. of you being there for a third of the day, that's a lot to ask. That's plenty to ask. I will say that the suggestion from the ballot clerks was that a good function for the three of you would be to help people actually inside the guardrail. Because you, did you notice how many times they walked to the back side of the ballot? Uh, yes. <laughs> <installed>? <laughs> So sometimes we just can't always be there because we're trying to do so the... So kind of like being groomsmen at a wedding. Yeah. Make sure yeah. they get to the right place. But you know, then when they come yeah. out of the ballot boxes, they're yeah. like, where do I help? You know, and so you can just go, you All know. Right. But anyways, it would keep you occupied. Um, yeah, so the... Uh, um, Brooke is here. Yeah. Um, there, there was a lot of complaint about noise level. Um, really? Yeah. Because the... the process, you're not, Margaret could, would really understand this a lot more than you two because she's been there for the counting, but what goes on during the day, it all leads up to the important event, which is after we close the polls. Right. And so you, it's really critical for the, the ballot clerks and the town clerk and the registrars to all be getting um, the registrations and the check-ins and the checkouts correct so the absentee ballot processing which is supposed to, by state law, go on during the time that other people are streaming in to vote, mm -hmm. uh, has to be 100% accurate. And you're so distracted that there's, that's where we always have the, the problems. Is it because of our meeting. physical plant, or does it have to be done in the same room? The absentee ballot? Right. The, absent, the processing of the absentee ballot yeah, has to be done in, in the voting room. Okay, so it's yeah. not just our plant. Well, you know, plant. so that was one thing I was talking to Mark about this morning is the, the possibility that if we had a little more space, the noise level would be a little mm -hmm. better if we if we took over like we do for town meeting that like half the side of the side of the gymnasium mm -hmm. where we could spread out a little bit better. But the other problem that we had was there was so much noise coming in from the, the hallway area outside the multi purpose room. And it was people who came in and were conducting business and then it was town business that was going on with mm. school and with rec department and, you know, just normal day-to-day -day stuff, but it was just, we, you know, it was just noise level was a big complaint. Would so you prefer to go back into the gymnasium? I don't, I don't think it makes any difference, right? Uh, there's a lot of opinions on that, so oh, that was just uh. one idea. Um, you know, is it a facility problem? Because Well, know, not in the major elections because the school shut down anyway, right? No, they, they stay they at had school. Now. Was they the school the kids were there yesterday? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm didn't see any. I guess do shut down. But no, they they all we keep them from the oh. from the cafeteria over. They're locked on in. the school side. Mm. They're locked in. Yeah. I now other schools do close on election days, but that's generally because access to their gyms, which is where they're doing the yeah. election, is through the school. So they'll close the whole school down for it. I don't think that our school would have a problem if we told them early enough that we wanted to use the gym. Yeah. We'll just have to make Maybe they could do a field trip or something. Well, we have used the gym in the past, right? Well, we use it for town meetings. Yeah. No, we've used it for elections, too. We, we use it for town. I don't town know whether it's just the town, town elections. elections. It's just the oh. town yeah. elections oh, right. at the time. Because, but that's it's, already because set up for town it's already set right. up for town meeting okay. yeah. and all of that. Right. So, so they can't use the gym anyway. But for okay. general elections, you know, that's once every two years. So I don't think the kids the kids weren't in the gym anyway, were they? Uh, they might have had. They were, were early they? in the morning. They, they were oh, okay. Morning. Before we yeah. before eleven. Then, I don't know after that. Yeah, and then yeah. they were they would get it two forty five yeah. until five. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, the noise the noise was hard for us in general. Okay. Uh, right. In the room, outside the room. <laughs> well, and we I don't really to want to be standing there. Have that conversation with the school day. board. Right. Okay, let's keep on going. Well, yeah. we could what do that. We got? Right. Uh, those are just just food for thought for things. Okay. Um, those are the stats for the uh, election. That that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we did have an inspection. State inspection. Yeah. Right. Uh, who was there then? The I was there. Did. Yes. Did we do okay? We did perfectly. All right. Because <laughs> Thornton didn't. Oh. So Thornton can no longer hold their general elections at the town hall because the space is too small. So well, you've got to have that six-foot barrier. Was right. that their problem? I think so. Yeah. Because they're 
their meeting room is smaller than this. But that's what I was talking to the. These are people with nothing to do. Yeah, you know, kind of like the damn bureau. Yeah, you got it. And lastly, would you guys like to go back out into the hallway, or do you want to stay with the supervisors, with the registrars? As long as we're not adding to the noise and confusion, right. I'd just as soon stay in. But uh, if we're adding to the noise and confusion, we can stay outside. Yeah, let's see how it goes. How and it goes. Maybe, maybe we go you, outside and tell people, you know, keep it down when you know. Yeah. Try to try to keep the noise down when you go inside. If you want to have a conversation, come back out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, great. Well, thank you for your help. Yeah. Thanks, All right. Marilyn. Anybody else? For, uh, Rich, so, I'm sorry. I didn't hear no, no, I didn't recount, recount for Hassan. He talked about the cat recount. Yeah. yeah so. uh, is there a talk. recount? No, we haven't heard yet. I heard on the they news. So but aren't, aren't our but ballots you, gone? Huh? Don't our ballots go well, someplace the way from it here? Works is all that goes is one little envelope with our tallies. Right. Oh, okay, so it's not the actual ballots. And the actual the ballots, ballots are sealed here. here for 22 months. And what's uh, somebody asked missing. me in the process, did the police take it down? They have to yeah. physically well, I drive. I thought they were actually taking the ballots. Yeah. That's yeah. why. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You could fax yeah. it. So if we yeah. need to recount, we have to recount? No. It's gonna, they will be sent. The, uh, oh, then you send the ballots to the state. And that box that we're storing remotely right. is going to go to right. a designated place by Secretary of State, and they'll do all the counting. It's right. out of our hands. Right. Good. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it. Great. Well, thanks. All right. Anybody else for privilege of the floor number one? All right, great. We'll move on to the approval of the minutes. I did. Uh, I really had no changes. I didn't either. I was surprised. I was. No, I wasn't there. surprised. No, I usually find something. Oh. This is the one when I was down in New York City and couldn't hear most of the time. So. Well, we should add that Margaret <laughs> missed most of the meeting because she didn't hear. Well, it, it is that she did come in a little bit later. <laughs> All right, so let's get a motion to approve these I'll minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as written. And is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, financial update. All right, you have the report there. Are there any questions on the report? We're, we're doing... I kept on okay. reading the minutes. We're doing very well for the year. Um, is, is that's also true in terms of spending? I noticed yeah. you'd, you had some, yeah. but we're all, we've got a little bit of flexibility still we left do. in some spending. Okay, we do. good. Yeah. Was there an expenditure to water to bring yeah. us up to ninety-one percent? Expenditure. I should water. say as an expense. Uh, yeah, we we did buy we, chemicals. Okay, that's right. Yeah, all right. That's the eight thousand that's shown there, and part of the ten thousand. Right. We're also ahead of expenditures on the engineering uh, line item within the water department because we've right. been okay. getting a lot of that. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Anyone have any questions on the financials? No. No. All right. No. Okay. Then we'll move on to department heads. Everyone is here. Who would like to go first? Brett. Um. We had a successful Halloween party. Our numbers were slightly down, not by much at all, but it was kind of a rainy <coughs> weekend. Um, I think the town square events worked out really well um, with the kids going there and having some of the locals participate there. So that went well. Um, tomorrow we're having a Veterans Day celebration at 8 a.m. at the school. It's, it's a school celebration which we're, we're very a part of. Um, I think having a little ceremony, and I think anybody's invited to attend. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, tomorrow night, they're having the harvest dinner at 5.30 p.m. Sean Stout's doing that again, so. And what's the harvest dinner? It's Her a fundraiser. Food. Okay. For the PTA. Hmm. I think, what's the specific? Is this like the, the spaghetti dinner thing yeah, they use? Yeah, it's turkey. Yeah. It's turkey. Oh, that's right. They did that last year. Yeah. Last year, they did the turkey. I don't know if you were there, but it was really good. Yeah. They use it for their big trip, I think. Yeah. Is that it? The, okay. Um, and that's at 530. Um, we are planning for Thanksgiving festivities with, you know, our, our free throw shootout, dodgeball, ice cream social, lots of other stuff. Um, we are continuing Pilates. That's been going on for five weeks and been successful, so we're going to continue mm. that. We're going to start with kickboxing um, on the 21st. We're starting also with Pickleball 101 for the brand people that have never played Pickleball in their life, um, which we already have people sign up for, so that'll be great. 
We have free private rentals this weekend. That's about it. Great. Now, what are the what are the rentals? Birthday parties and things like that. Climbing wall they or. Are, what are they? There's one from the mountain from a staff party. There's a pickleball. Yeah. Rental, private rental, and what's the other one? A Cub Scout. Cool. Now, are we communicating to the pickleball players when there's a pickleball rental so it's not available to them? Yes. Excellent. And Dorothy Devona does a lot for the community in that communication regard. Mm. Good. So, very grateful to her. Okay. And staffing, everybody's good. You get there's a continuation of staff and everyone is happy and everything. We're doing good. I mean, we could use one more part time staff who'd be willing to work for us on a part time basis, but, uh, but we're, we're making it. Excellent. Yep. All right. How we, are, we are doing well with the rec. As yeah, far look as at these numbers. They look great. Actual yeah. expenditures and their revenues, and I think we'll we'll be at or above our original revenue number um, for the year. So we're doing very well. Great. Great. Okay. Chris, how are you today? Good. <laughs> Nothing remarkable to report other than our daily activities. Um, training, it's uh, firearms training and EMS research time. Um, we're doing our fall, putting out grade stakes, um, cleaning out the intake, or the, yeah, the intake for the dry hydrant at the pond, just things like that. So there's really just day to day stuff we're doing. The dry hydrant at the pond is. Um it, that that takes water from the pond in case of a fire. Yeah, yeah, it's that white. It's like a straw that sucks water out of the. You know, have you gone through mentally what you would do if um, if we had a fire now and you couldn't take water from the public water system? Oh yeah, extensively. We crunch numbers on that on a regular basis, and and that's part of the maintenance of the pond is making sure that the pond level is is above the suction enough so that we can draw out of the pond. Okay. Um, so yeah. That's, and that's and how far can you get water from there to, do we have a tanker truck or something that you can put water in if you had to? Well, if we if it came to the point where we were drawing water out of the pond, we'd have mutual aid tankers come in and do that. Okay. Um, our biggest tank has 700 gallons, so that would be. Yeah, you know, pretty, pretty rapidly depleted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. And everybody's ha happy, healthy, and all our equipment's working? Yes. All set for winter? Getting there. <laughs> Getting there, right? yeah. yeah. All right. Have you had any communication with the new head of the ski patrol? Yes. Great. So We've had a couple meetings, and we have a couple more scheduled. Great. Um, it's going to be, uh, he's starting with uh, clean slate with basically nothing. I, I may have the wrong organization, but I was talking to somebody yesterday at the election that the, the WVAIA uh, does a wilderness first aid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nelson and I took that this weekend. Mm -hmm. What? Nelson and I participated in that this last weekend. Yeah, that's a way. I understand it's quite good. Do we, good. Do we yeah. kind of publicize that? Or? Yeah. Yeah. AIA, right. yeah. Oh. AIA yeah. does, yeah. Oh, okay. I took it a couple right. years ago. Yeah. All right. Great. Well, thanks. Jim, I think we're going to skip over you because you're part of the meat of these other topics. Yeah. So let's look at calendar review. Anybody going anywhere? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> no, I'm Why don't be... you just leave your passport here with the Xerox <laughs> your visas? No, no, I'm, it's road trip. Oh, okay. Road trip for family Thanksgiving, so. All right. So well, we should talk about when is our uh, next scheduled meeting is the, the 22nd, Wednesday before? 22nd. Well, no. we Tuesday the twenty second was our next scheduled meeting All right. that we talked about. But given as soon as we get the numbers that we're going to talk with Jim about here in a minute, um, I'd like to basically have an on call time. And if we have that meeting, right. we can take care of probably any other things that we need to, mm -hmm. and then not have that meeting on the twenty second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which what, what which would be fine with me. I'm, I'm leaving on the 17th, okay. and I'll be back the week after okay. Thanksgiving. Okay. I am Monday I'm is open, really particularly 14th, 15th, and 16th the next week, in case you want yeah. to do it. Yeah. So yeah. that would we'll, be good. We'll have to do 
Why? And you're out of out the week of Thanksgiving. No, are you here? no, no. I'm 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 here. Right, so we're both I'm here. I'm cooking turkey. Right. And if we have to go into that Thanksgiving week, the Monday of that Thanksgiving week, I'm not traveling, so I yeah. have to make myself available back okay. home. Then. Okay. Well, it's yeah. hopefully we can accomplish our business before that. Yeah. yeah. So we'll take that. All right. Good. So we get that squared away. Uh, let's take up this new business. Get it out of the way. We have the sale of two vehicles. Which was an open bid process. Yeah, yeah. So I see. Uh, are we obligated to take the high bid? No, I don't. I guess not. If I, I'm I'm thinking for three hundred bucks. Why don't we give the truck to the mountain if they want it? That's six hundred. Well, six hundred bucks. Just thinking out loud. Was, could, does someone have any recourse to us if they would? Well, that was my question. Hide, yeah, uh, I'm assuming. Yeah. Do we have to? I was advertised. Um, Judy has a. What? It was advertised as the high bidder. Was it advertised that way? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. No, yeah, but then we ought to honor what okay. they said. So we do a motion on each one of these, or can we just do a blanket motion? But you can do a blanket motion. Well, it's just one. We no, just, just going to give it to one bidder. It's it's two vehicles. Two, but it's two separate bidders. Two separate right. bidders. Yeah. Right. So I'll make a motion to approve the bid of, what is that, day? Uh, gas, gas motors. Gas motors for uh, 3600 da 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 for the uh, 2000 truck. Okay. 2004 truck. All right. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'll make a motion to approve the bid of Chicago okay. Motors for the 2012 Chevrolet Impala for $3,007. Do so we have a second? Second. All right. in favor? Aye. 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 That's the old uh, police cruiser? Yes. How much does it cost to get it painted and, and all the striping and stuff taken off? Um, well, Bill, we do that and Bill does it too. Uh, what? Bill, help, Bill Cheney helps us do it. Oh, he does? So, yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly. So. We 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 don't have to spend any money. I mean, I was hoping we weren't spending two thousand dollars to no. fix the thing up to sell it for two thousand. No, no. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, <coughs> we'll move on to. We have a resignation at the planning board. So well, let's. We're not going to accept it. <laughs> let's see what he does. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's one All right. approach. So. Yes. So we have that resignation, and right. we, we want to make an official motion to thank Harry for his time <coughs> and his yeah. effort on the planning mm -hmm. board. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so we have an opening to fill, and we have uh, alternates, and I'm going to make a motion that we take Rich Rita and move him to a full planning board member <coughs> from an alternate. Lucky you. Is there Surprise. a second? Is there a I'll second? I'll second that. All That's in favor? Me. Aye. Aye. Rich, how do you feel about that? Too late. Thank you. <laughs> 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 No, I knew you would do it, but thank you very much for your service as well. Um, so, so Cindy, yeah. Cindy wants to come back on right. as an alternate. So, right. I think a motion to do okay. that would be in order. I'll make a motion to appoint Cindy Picos as an alternate to the planning board. I'll second okay. that. All in favor? How many? How, is she, how, how many? Two. How many months is she going to be here? Um, Does anybody ask her? I mean, it, it, you know. I mean, well, is she going to be here more than six months? Yes, she she is going to be here more than she has been because the family situation has kind of settled out, I guess. Okay, um, okay. So All right. then I have no problem. All right, all yeah. in favor? Aye. All right. All right. Done. Excellent. All right, and why don't we deal with uh, the letter from the Inns of Waterville Valley? Well, can, yeah, oh. just going back to that for just a second, we have two, we have two um, positions alternate positions now, vacancies, on the planning board. Okay. So just to Look. keep that in in mind. Okay. Do we have anyone who would like to do that? Uh, we have not been contacted All right. about Make, the planning board. How about an ad in the wigwag, next wigwag? Okay. There are two openings on the planning board. Yeah. Would anyone like to serve? And let's move into this correspondence, the letter from uh, Dick Labonte uh, regarding the Snow Star slash North Star Inn. And Bill, yes, you I, had some Yes, questions? I did. I, I, I don't think we should just dismiss this. I, you know, that's in a butter, and they're complaining. 
And I'm particularly bothered by the fact that they refer to it as a boarding house. Because if you read our, uh, mm -hmm. if you read Village Commercial, I'm not sure that a boarding house would be allowed. And I'm not sure what they're doing as a boarding house. But I think given the fact that he's in a butter, uh, we ought to have the privilege, uh, he ought to have the privilege of having a, you know, a public hearing they could go and at least voice their concerns. Okay. And uh, uh, I don't know who, who would decide, the planning board or us, whether they whether they're, whether it's conformant with the, Somebody's got to make the decision, yes or no. Well, it's an allowed well, use. This board, this board is responsible for enforcement. So the planning zone. board would make the decision, so, and if there was an issue, they would come to us to see what we want to do about no, it. No, I don't know. No. Somebody's, somebody's got to hold the public you hearing. To, if the planning board's decision is what it is right now, is that it's well, not a change of view. It's the chair. The chair has, has, chair has right. You, you know, but they, but is the chair aware that he got a letter like this? Yes. And that's what precipitated him to look at the zoning ordinance and to say, "There's no. There's no change of use." The letter and the email that Tim Smith sent. Right. And and so I have asked. Town well, council. Yeah, okay, because I don't think, right, because yeah. I looked at those definitions, and my problem is, is I'm not sure that boarding house, and I'm not sure what he's doing as a boarding house, but if, you know, it specifically <laughs> kind of says that boarding houses aren't allowed. That's is, why I'm... Is there a definition of boarding house compared to... All of yes. this stuff is pretty vague. Yeah. That's the problem. Well, there is a definition of boarding house so in the, the ordinance. And what's the difference between the, the use that's used now? The... Um, is it central kitchen? The central, the central feeding facility. Right. The central kitchen. And do they area. have that at the North Street? Are they providing Well, there's that? a no, definition. Not, is there a definition not. of boarding house? There's a definition of dormitory. I'm sorry, you're And you're dormitory, right. You're right. but a dormitory, right. it says, it, 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 it's it got to serve eight or more people. Right. You know, where there's like a bunk area and then a common dining common facility. Dining. And right. I don't know if that's what they've got. They are not doing that. What if are they doing? At, that's what I'm saying. Smith, I'm surprised. They're, they've got rooms in there. They have yeah. two different things going on. They have, they have individual rooms. Right. I think there are like 18 or something like that. And they're gonna they're gonna provide those on a rental basis to their employees. Yeah, but are they during the winter? Okay. And then they have four. They have three condos right. that they are going to be leasing out to restaurants or other businesses here in town or their own staff for them to live in, either seasonally or permanently. I think. We met one of those mm -hmm. people yesterday so, at, at, yeah. at voting. Yeah. He and his right. family are here. Yeah. So know, they've got a kid yeah. in the school. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so there's two different parts to that. And then the rooms that are used for the seasonal winter seasonal employees in the summer, they're going to be they're going to be renting to groups or to right. anybody that wants to okay. rent a room. The way I'm hearing this, I don't see any difference to what Tom Hoyt was doing by renting rooms out. And if he's renting is, to the public, if, oh, if he's okay, making so it available the to the public, there's, in my mind, no question. Right, right, it's only right. when you start to say that a, I'm not making it class available. I'm, available. I'm, 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 the only people who can use it are my own employees gotcha. or something like that. That well, it's that it's tenant, it's technically a little bit different. If you look at Tim's letter, that will be the case in the winter, but in the summer he's renting to the public. And which kind of muddies the water, but there are no central dining facilities, there's no... Well, the language I'm reading here, it says, housing for the J1 Internationals will be the primary use for the hotel side of the inn. They will occupy most of the hotel rooms for 13 weeks and about half of the hotel rooms for 13 weeks over the summer. We will also have some hotels, general employees, similar on long term, who have lived there in the past. The major will be offered on employees and will deduct rentals from their paychecks. Mm -hmm. What I'm not seeing the question and the answer to this is it doesn't say all of our rooms would be. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's, we can just ask him to clarify it. Okay. So, a question on whether or not. I, Paul I'm just thinking, considered. given this, I was but just we thinking, do have given to respect, the letter, we do should have to respect. we respect 
whoever, you know, if they want to yeah. come down and share their frustration with us, I think we ought to listen to it. Yeah, no, I agree with you on that too. Yeah, I, I mean, to I'm not saying that, that we're not right, but you're saying, you see, that was my question. Is Terry get to decide? Well, because you can if it's, hold a public hearing on it. Well, yeah, but, but who makes the decision it is or is not in conformance? I, it's not at all clear in the regulations. It, it is the Board of Selectmen. The Board you of are, Selectmen, are we are the code enforcement order. That's then we ought to hold a public hearing, and, or at least invite this gentleman down. Okay. Or it, say if they want to come down and share their frustrations at a future meeting, we're, we're going to listen. Okay. And, um, and I think we ought to invite Terry. Okay. And have him come and listen. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But does Terry so, have the right on the planning board to make his own decisions? Or... It doesn't no, I, it. Okay, I, yeah. I, I was my interpretation, yeah. and we make the decision, yeah. not Terry. But yeah, <laughs> well, as far as whether or not the question that I asked Terry was, do they need to submit a site plan review? Absolutely not. No, no, no but, there's no question key. about that. But the question is, is it an allowed use of the property under the zoning ordinance, right. or is that an allowed use by right? And it's murky. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, and now the problem is they used to use the top of the Golden Eagle Lodge that way, right? I mean, there's lots of examples, I think, of people who have done this already. Mm -hmm. But it's not technically listed, you know? Is, is there... Well, we ought to listen to them. Chris? I think the original use of that was a dormitory site. It... It, it, as a, it was a dormitory, so and there's nothing wrong with a ski mattress. dormitory yeah. so if you were renting it to the public. But if you're going to make it so that only your employees are in there, oh. then it gets into a just a slightly different area, and I'm not so sure what the... I'm not trying to make, you know... I haven't gone through it yet for a, um, occupancy, yeah. so I... I don't even know what they're, I know they're doing some work in there. And I guess they're frustrated by the, I don't know what this thing about the trash or recycling is. What yeah, is, well, that, is, that, that, is, that, no, is that the main thing that they're frustrated? No, no, no they no. don't want, I think they're concerned it's going to ruin their ability to rent their rooms, you know. They're looking at it, and Dick Labonte called me before he sent you the letter. When he called me, they are concerned that this is a change of use and that it's being allowed to happen without any input from the abutters. That, that is why he sent you the letter. So he views this as a change from an inn, renting out right, to the to general a boarding public, house. to a boarding house. Right. And, and they think that the inns of Waterville Valley feel that that is a change of use. Right. Which, in our regulation, but, if it is, it would have to go to site plan review. Okay, but if it, it's a change of use. Right. So, well, and wouldn't that's it why be from an inn to a dormitory? Because if you're dealing with just your people in there, there's a, a class where a school would the have problem, a dormitory. The problem with dorm with the with the with dormitories, the definition of dormitory in here is quite specific. Mm. It's got to be eight or more people in one room to be considered oh, okay. a dormitory, right, and right. I don't know if they meet that criteria. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And and they're not going to be doing that because yeah. the rooms aren't big enough. <laughs> we, we're not going to permit them from an occupancy standpoint, right? So I think it is. The question is, is it is is it an inn? Yeah, we, they could be is changing it an inn or, or a boarding house. What, what he's doing? I don't know. Okay. Okay. I have no idea. All right, so we will get. More information. Well, we'll we ought to let them come yeah. and complain. Yes. All right. Good. Okay. Uh, and we should we are right, who's who are the other abutters? Tor. The conference center. Conference center. And Tor. Um, well, is the conference Tor center is an abutter? Tor is on the other Tor side. Is is on the I don't other think side of the conference, conference center is an abutter, right? Oh yeah. 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 yeah is it next door? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, it would be the conference center, across the street. The the closest one would be village. Village. Uh, and then. If you so wanted, we just sort of notice all those people from that, the Golden Eagle, maybe that that if you that if you want to come and share, you know, we're gonna at least have them in and talk about mm -hmm. it. Seems to me that this is a uh, better class of resident than some of the priors that we've had in there. Oh well, is, is <laughs> well, there's also the increased traffic that, and they think that that's a part of the change. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's. But yeah. we're not in. 
Right. Well, we don't have any indication right now that they're increasing numbers of rooms or yeah, capacity yeah. in any way. So that would be an automatic site plan. Okay. Right. All right. So let's take this and get everyone to the table okay. to discuss it. We All right. That. So that brings that uh, privilege of the floor number two. All right, Jim, you're up. Tell us what's <laughs> going before going on in the world of public works before we get into our projects, please. Things are, um, well, as Chris said, unremarkable. Uh, it's kind of quiet, and uh, we're in that typical shoulder season, so just getting ready for winter. Yeah. Are uh, we going to talk about Well 3, though? Oh, yeah. You can. Okay. That's definitely. <laughs> well 3 is still problematic? Well 3 is still problematic. Okay. Came back with a positive hit. Yeah. Uh, again this week. Um, the good news is, is that I think Mark uh, conveyed to you that the uh, the levels at uh, the two testing sites, the well itself, and then um, at the pump pump house, were are now the in same. line. Yeah. So uh, we pretty uh, pretty confident that the problem is at the well site. Okay. the The state will uh, would they allow us to use this well if we treat the water is that a possibility or not no? until it goes to zero so we've got to get this to zero and they're not going to let the well go back online that's what they have told us the only thing yeah. in an extreme emergency situation they might let us put it back online with an immediate boil order okay right the you know, as I look at where we're at in the time, uh, you know, my gut tells me we may not get this well back online. I, as I told you in the memo, I don't, I don't see us getting it back online this winter. What, for this winter. What is the, well, what do we do? We are, we're doing two things. We're, we're looking at trucked water uh, to supplement because what we can do, at, what we could potentially do at Well 3 is set up a, uh, a temporary treatment facility at the well, right, where we could add chemicals to the well, and we could get bacteria removal to the state's um, satisfaction if we reduce the flow out of the well, treat it right there, inject chemicals right there and then at the lower flow rate at the lower well flow rate it would have sufficient contact time in the pipe to kill the bacteria so but but we would have to reduce the rate that we pump from 180 all the way down to 25 gallons a minute the 25 gallons a minute does not give us sufficient capacity to to do even the slow period like today, a midweek right. off season day. It only gives, it doesn't, it only gives us thirty six thousand gallons a day. How many do we use on a day? Six fifty to sixty. Fifty to sixty on a day like today. On a day like today. Okay, so we're we'd be in a deficit situation even in the slow period. We could <coughs> We've looked at the flows and we've, we've talked to a trucking company. We could get somewhere around 50 to 60,000 gallons a day from a trucking company, okay, to supplement the lower production from well three. But there are so many variables in that that we can't do it during extremely cold weather. It's very expensive to be able to do that. So we could theoretically um, have somewhere around 80 to 90,000 gallons a day, but our, our busy period use is double that. It's about 180,000 gallons a day on average. The 90 so average from Christmas, you know, through the, yeah. through the holiday, holiday weeks, the, the average is 180,000. <laughs> right. If it's and 170 so on the low end, 210 on the right. So we, with a trucking plus a reduced well three, we can only produce about half of that. So reduced and, well and three, but about, what about well two? 
Well, and, and this is, this is um, the scenario that Well 2 breaks. Okay. All right, let's now, talk about well, well 2 working with a new pump. Working with a new with pump. A new pump we get 250 gallons a minute, and, we, and Well 2 can... So what does that come out to for the day? Uh, I, 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 I have to figure it out. It was, is that enough to meet, meet our capacity? Yes, yes. It would, okay. it would meet... It would Even meet our, our capacity, but it puts us outside of our permit, which I think... But that's okay. That's they'll, okay. They'll waive that. They'll waive All right, that. then why don't we just get that one fixed, and then the other stuff is variable and moot, kind of, because we know we can make enough water out of well, too, with a good pump. Yes. So it's so double what we need. All right, yes. because it, we're talking, we were talking roughly $15,000 to get a new pump. A new uh, rough. We're okay. getting those numbers. And okay. That's what well, I, let's say it's yeah. fifteen thousand. Yeah, right. How much is a tanker truck of sixty thousand gallons of water? Forty-five. Forty-five hundred dollars. Okay. So for so you get three of those, which don't even meet one exactly. day's worth of work. That's right. So I think we go ahead and we get the the new pump. Oh in. yeah, and there's no question yeah. about getting the pump fixed. Uh, or you so, know, okay. and and I would I would I would just go to the guy and say, what's the what's the fastest easiest, most reliable way to make yeah. sure right. that this comes back online. And, and yeah. that's what we're you know, talking about. And with the minimal the amount of downtime. And, about two and two if that's three. replace it, if the guy says two. Yeah, two. So, so let me just make sure that I understand. So the issue on three is if there were a way to increase the contact time so that the that's chlorine right. could work a mm -hmm. little bit, then it would be okay to have some bacteria load. That's the correct. problem is that we're sending it directly out of the well through the through the treatment facility and, and straight time. pipe going up to the That's thing right. up top. No, and well, no, well, well, no, it's just actually so, just so the it's called four log removal. What that's a function of your dose, your pipe size, your gallons per you know, your pumping mm -hmm. rate. Okay? And and it is the distance that the water travels to the potentially fir the potential first user, and that is Stone Tower Lane. Okay. So right. that is yeah. so it does not necessarily it go directly to the reservoir. If it did, we wouldn't be talking. About it. Right. If it all went up to the reservoir, we'd have sufficient dilution and contact time. We wouldn't. And there's be no way this. to route the no. distribution no, coming the back down. No, to that's yeah. the problem. How many homes are we talking about that are in this you're, situation? You're talking about the Carlisles are the first. The yeah. first is it just Stone Tower though? That's the way the water goes. Where yeah. they branch off, and of. that's where the shortest route. It's between Well Three and the Carlisles home. Right. Is the shortest yeah, piece. Yeah, but of if pipe. if we had to go to where the what we we said, look, we're in a bind. We've got to use this well. We need to, and, and the only way we can do it is to increase the chlorine load, and we're not going to siphon any water off to these homes. All we're going to do is send it up the hill into the reservoir. We can't isolate them that way. No. Why? Why not? Well, because then they don't have any water service. Well, I understand that, but yeah. you'd have to shut their service off to do it, right? But then the water takes a right and goes to high country. That, I mean, how many people? That's why I'm trying. How many yeah. people so get shut off? It doesn't come just by my house. And it's not just Stone Tower Lane that gets affected. It's everybody. Well, it's high country now. It's, 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 no, it's, it's the water goes yeah. quite a few people. But no. for the purpose of the exercise, I can obviously give you an estimate of how many places. But there's a lot. It's more than three houses. Yeah. More than three houses. More than three houses. Yeah, because if we shut off the shut off the Carlisles, some of that water isn't going straight down t Stone Tower Lane. It's taking a right and going out to high country and and out Osceola Road. So sure. everything's, you, a loop. everything's a loop and and, and it depends it's on wherever the, the demand is going, yeah. okay. that's where the water goes. So we can't tell you right. definitively that if we just shut off this valve, that water is going to go up to the reservoir. So let me ask you another question here. Could you, in an emergency, in an emergency, yep. let's assume we lose number two and we've got to use three, yeah. go get a tanker truck, put it down there, and pump the well into the tanker truck, and then let it sit there for long enough to get the, what you're desired in terms of the kill before you send it into the treatment and up the hill? No. Because right. a tank of truck is only 6,000 gallons. 6,000 gallons isn't going to give you 
anything. I mean, even if we, in the scenario that we got, a worst case scenario that we have, we're using three tanker trucks, three trips a day, 54,000 gallons. If we figure in the possibility of using another 36,000 out of well three at the reduced flow rate, pump rate, we end up with a deficit of Mark, what is it, the seventh day, the sixth day? The, the seventh day we're seventh out of water. Day. We're out of water. But I understand what you're asking. I'm Bill, just saying, is there any kind of a temporary setup you could come up with, or well, the contact time that we'd have to let that truck sit there. Yeah, we'd only be producing six thousand gallons at a time, and we wouldn't get enough over the day because period. Because the tank can only hold because 6, the tank can only hold sorry. six thousand gallons. If if we if we had a twenty thousand gallon tank or whatever that we were somehow moving this water then you might be able to do it, but by the time you fill the tank, let, the, let it sit there for the appropriate contact time, drive it up, unload it. I, we're not going to get enough truckloads per day to, to make it worthwhile. But I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, in I other understand. words, instead of trucking it's a crisis. the water I mean, if, in, it, if there is a crisis, right. I mean, suppose we lose well number two, what are and, we going to do? And that might be a way that we could, rather than trucking this stuff in, because part of the, a lot of the cost and a lot of the time is turning the trucks around from wherever they're getting the water. Right. So you're saying instead of doing that. Yeah, fill them here. Fill them here. And a little chlorine and then just, just. I, connect them back up and send them up the hill. We could ask DES, sure. We can ask And there is no way we couldn't get a temporary pipe connection between well four and well one treatment. Mm. No. Why? Well. The new well four. The new well four. And temporarily get a pipe that goes to the the well ha the treatment facility right now for well number three. Well, right? it'll Good. be for well. It would Whatever actually it be at well yeah. two right there. There's treatment right there at our existing building. <coughs> right. But I don't think there's any way to temporarily get tap the, across. You couldn't if in uh, an emergency. I, and I, I miss, you know obviously I I don't know yeah. what else to do. I mean. A solu I don't well, think no, it's they, a. They, yeah. Well, we could ask DES. Yes. Well, I think I think the solution will become clear once we hear back from the pump company as to what what our problem. Yeah, but is what is happens if well number two starts to show with positive bacteria counts? I am, and that is a distinct possibility. Of course. Mm -hmm. It is. You you yeah. gotta figure out how do how what do we, we get, do? How can we temporarily get well four online, or something? Yeah. Or what can we? The, Bill the problem is with well four. It is not a permitted well yet. I know it. You know, and DES is not going to let us draw water out of that, well, and and put it into our system. It's not permitted. I mean, the uh, the well itself is authorized, but but we haven't gone through the final. No, I understand all of that, but, but I'm, and no, I'm not so suggesting we do any of this. Right, right, right. Other it's than if emergency. there is, suppose we had a crisis where two went out yeah. on us. Yeah. Now what do we do? Well, and that's why we want to fix the pump at two immediately. Yeah, but I'm not worried about the pump. I'm worried about the water, that the water is yeah. going to show up contaminated. It is, I can't say that it won't. No. Bill mentioned this to me, and I'll bring this up now. Is there anything more we can do? Is there a specialist we can bring in yeah. that can tell I, us why three is doing what it's doing? No, I've asked. I've asked um, DES. Are there any private people? That. Or there, there aren't anybody. There, there isn't a firm or anybody that DES is aware of that specialize in commercial wells. Well, they specialize in commercial wells, but it's it's not. There's no way to get into the well to look. Nobody can analyze what's going on inside the well. You just can't physically get in there and tell where this water or this bacteria source, whatever it is, is coming from. There's, it's impossible to get inside. Nobody can, can tell us. Have we tested the water upriver from, from that pump? 
we test at well two, it's up river and no, well three. No, it's and you're we, saying the well, the river water itself, yeah. and I had asked you that question, you think it's the, oh, water, the river, river water, water is, is definitely contaminated. Be contaminated. All surface water will have oh, okay. some Good. bacteria. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we, several years ago, so this we is did water a test. That's, that's underground, basically, being pumped out from. Yeah, right, and, from and we surface. did a test. We did a test probably about seven or so years ago where we tested the river water and the water coming out of well three. And they determined that there was no influence from the river on our well. So the stuff you were but finding is, in the river was not found in the well. That's correct. So, but that was when the water table was normal, mm -hmm. right? With the reduced, they're thinking that maybe we're pulling from a different source now and we're getting influence from a place we weren't getting influence yeah. from yeah. before. So, but we can't prove any of that. There's no way to get down in there with a camera or anything to tell what is happening underground. But even so, if you, what would you do even if you knew? And you, well, you, that's you right. Just, I, mean, I mean, there wouldn't be anything we could physically do, but we're just waiting for the recharge and, and there's, to happen. And you ask so. the CMA engineers, there's no kind of ultraviolet inline, anything that will treat that water and, and kill more bacteria? The only thing that, that we have set up is a plan, if we want to spend the money, it would be about $20,000, $25,000 total, which would be to set up a treatment a little treatment hut right. right there at well three, but again with log four removal, that still only gives us thirty six thousand gallons a minute or a, a day. Yeah. Sorry. So that would okay. That gives you thirty six thousand a day because you immediately have to move it someplace again. Well you the water is still going right. through that same pipe, length pipe. of pipe and to get the log four removal it it's just not enough contact time. But I, you know, I know on pools and stuff, and I, I mean, mm -hmm. I realize sure. it's completely yeah, yeah. different. I mean, you use ozone generators, all kinds well, we, of stuff to kill bacteria. I mean, there are and UV setups and everything else, but they're, they're hundreds of thousands of dollars setups right. for the type of treatment that we would need. And it isn't anything that we can just do instantaneously. Right. Okay. Well. As we go forward in budget season, do we need to start thinking about putting in yet another well? Somewhere? We may have to. I think. Um, well, it's got to get the, four up, the, but the solution. Yeah, but the solution to well three. Ish, the issue at well three, whether or not it clears itself up or not, the solution to that is to tie that into the new well building. And once you do that, because you have the four log removal. You have four log removal that because be you have contact time in our new clear well, and you have you have the, the dilution. Explain that to me again. Why is there contact time in the new uh, sufficient in the new building, but yet we can't make that? Because there's a hundred thousand gallon tank. A thirty thousand gallon. gallon tank that is there in the new building. Right. That all the water goes into and gets treated. Right. And then, so we have contact time in that tank, and then we pump right. it out, and then it goes out into the system. So five so tanker trucks, 30,000 yeah. gallons, mm -hmm. put them down next to the wellhead, pump them in, let them sit there, and then pump them out. If you have to. <sighs> well, I, okay. none of this is, but I, 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 I don't, what are we going to do? I, I mean, if we lose, if we lose that, the right. one functioning well. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? Shut the resort down? That's what it would be. I understand that. And we're trying to find a way around it. Yes. I mean, we'll look at the tanker trucks, but again, it's if we parked those tanker trucks there, uh, I don't know. I don't think well, you'd have, to, you'd, you'd, have to, you'd have to you'd have to fill them, and you'd have to you'd have to fill them and off fill them as fast fast enough so they don't freeze. I understand right. there's all kinds yeah. of problems. There's all kinds of we'll have to look at it. Uh, but well, I don't I don't the know. First problem is getting them there. Well, it, it, there's yeah. all kinds of problems, mm -hmm. but yeah. Um, I yeah I just but I'm not and my other I am not 
at all optimistic that we're ever going to get uh, ever an answer to well number three. And we may have to face one of these days shutting it down. Because this is not the first time this happened. It happened a couple of years ago. I understand that. But if we treat it differently, the water can have, when it comes out of the ground, the raw water can have bacteria in it if we treat it properly. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's what Jim is saying is if we bring it into this into the new clear well, we get two things. We get dilution and we get treatment. And, you and get both of those things give you because the pipe length that's is right. fifteen hundred feet from well three to the new building and then another fifteen hundred feet to the potential first user. Well, after that building's hooked on it'll yeah. So I mean you get a longer pipe. Is that clear well tank in place now? Yes. Well, it's there, but it's not hooked up to anything because he hasn't finished the project. Um, what, what, is there anything, that, if, if all we wanted to do was be able to fill that 30,000 gallon tank and then get a pump from there up to the storage tank, is there a way that somebody could figure out to make that connection? The um, if not, the tank's in the ground, soon, not soon enough. Not soon enough. Mm. It, it's a it's a scheduling yeah. project. I, I'd ask. A pro, a problem I, I'd, at this you point. know, if we, you know, it's like everything being, a, you know, if you throw money at it. But I don't know what we do. And then the other question is: is should we be telling the town they got to conserve water? Well, yes, and I we will do that as part of this. Once we find out about well two and what we're going to do, if we're going to replace the pump and, and move forward with that, we can, we can still certainly have an education. But who are the big water users in town? Obviously, the if inns, we'll, the, 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 inns, the inns, town square. They don't. They don't fill the swimming pools or anything like no, that. Laundry no, no, and no, things no, like that as got, well. You know, laundry, you it's you mostly the, the commercial inns yeah. and the, yeah. are the big water users. The inns, the athletic center, the the town square, those, the conference center, those. Mm -hmm. We've the, notified uh, Craig that I, he may not get any water this morning. Yes, one I have told him, and I need to get back to him and tell him that well three is not looking good. Back. But I have told him once. I mean, we may get lucky, but... Yeah. We may, but I'm not counting on it. So the, the, the special meeting that I referred to earlier was to get your permission to move ahead with repairing well two. If you, if you want... You, you have enough... Because I don't have the number. Suppo yet. Suppose we gave you a not to exceed number. Yeah. yeah. Do you, would you feel comfortable with that? If it's wrong, we'd have to come back. Sure. Yeah. Suppose we, would 25,000? Yeah. 30. 30. 30,000? Tell me why Not 31 is 15 for the, a new pump. What's that? I thought it was 15 for a new pump. Tell me why it's 30. I don't know yet. But if a whole new pump is 15. Well, we don't know if don't it is. Know That's what he's, oh. we're getting If, if oh. we made a motion right now to, to the authorize you to spend from current expenses up to th not to exceed 30,000 mm -hmm. to use your judgment as to the best solution for the pump um, and I'm willing to make that motion if that's not enough money then we'll have to get back together then we'll okay. come back together all right make the motion I'll make the motion do we have a second on the motion second not that. to exceed 30 all in favor aye aye all right now are they going to have to shut the water off for a they will of time? but we can if we do it during the We'll do it during the slow period between Thanksgiving and Christmas, and we'll do it during the midweek, and we'll give him five days to do it. And we've got we'll have enough tank. money in the tank. Enough money, water. Enough, enough, enough water, water in the tank. Yeah. Enough how much, water, how much water in the water reservoir. Water. How how much we water have enough money in? now. How much water is in the tank up on the hill? 850,000 gallons. Yeah, you see, if... if um, if that tank, if all of the water distribution system fed off that tank, we wouldn't have a problem. That's right. We, if we could pump directly <laughs> to that tank. Yeah. And then the water no distribution issue. system came off of there. Yeah. I mean, you, you got so much dwell time, it's That's unbelievable. Right. That's right. 
but the way they set it up, it was all in loops, and and it doesn't go directly to the yeah. tank. Which so. actually is the proper way to set up a municipal water system. It's what? Is in loops. The only one thing that we neglected to do years ago was to go directly from the wells to the to the reservoir, and then have your loop system off, off, the off, the yeah. off the reservoir. Off right. the reservoir. Yeah. That's the one mistake. Yeah, and, and actually we ought to at some point in time take a look, what would it take to create that? Is I mean it isn't even remotely possible. Sure, it's one line it's one line one from, line up. One I know. Line up. That's but the, you gotta get another line but then you gotta get all the people in high country and else technically yeah, you've reconnected gotta get, you've again. You've gotta get reconnected in, yeah. in loops. All right, so we have. We can do anything if there's <laughs> enough <All right>. money. <laughs> We're going to continue to test well three. Mm -hmm. We have a plan to repair well two. And let's hope this all comes together. Let's talk about the new Keep building and, and well two number four. Fail. Yeah. Yeah. Things are progressing uh, quite well. Uh, the building is, the building shell is up, the, uh, the shingling, the presses have been set, roof sheet, the shingling. Have the south side done. The front, they'll, they'll have the uh, north side done tomorrow. Um, all of the wires that we need from well four have been pulled all the way down to the new well building. So those are all in place. Um, the th most of the mechanical joints and piping that's needed down inside the building is down inside the building. Pumps are probably January 1st or thereabouts um, that, are, that are needed and they can't put anything really together in there um, until really they have the pumps in place and um, all electrical should start showing up, all the big pieces of electric equipment should start showing up uh, either the end of this week or the beginning of the next and we can start uh, getting ready to energize the building if in the near future. So hopefully by Thanksgiving we'll have electricity in there at this point. And there's some work that's happened out around well number four. Correct. As well. they, they, were, they were pulling the wires. That but, was the uh, isn't wire there part. a fence now? There is oh, yeah, a, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. pretty much yeah. complete. It's the all only, complete. The only thing at well four that needs to be done is the actual connection of the electrical connection to the pump. Okay, good. Have our cemetery rocks made um, it to the cemetery? The cemetery rocks are in <coughs> the... Uh, in the uh, not the cemetery. Not in the uh, cemetery right, well, yet, but they're up there. Okay. I would, are, uh, have you I, looked I, at I would, them now? No. Could you look at them and are make sure that they're... Yeah, the same rocks we can come up and we can kind of go over... All right, them, just know. call me and we'll, we'll go run okay. up and do get that. A, the, get a plan. Back to the water conservation, um, mm -hmm. should we in some way be notifying all the residents in town as to what's going on here? Okay. Well, I don't know. Sure. I'm asking the other yeah. select people. What do you think? <coughs> yeah, I think we definitely should to get people I think in the habit of... We, we're having a problem yeah. with one of our main producing wells and... Uh, well, there was something in the last wigwag. Okay. The most it, residents know... I don't know whether it was accurate or not, yeah. but it was there. No, sir. I, I knew no. well three was still on, but I no, I didn't. We'll we'll send a letter to everybody. Yeah, just to make sure. And, we'll and ask them. I mean, and just ask them to do everything you can to conserve yep. water. And and it looks like until the new well comes on for, you know, next spring, we may have a problem. You know, we're 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 going to need the help. Yeah, we'll be down to yeah. one one water well, one source yeah. Yeah. for the winter. Yeah. Okay. I'll drop that and send it out to you. All right. Anything else with public works, Jim? <laughs> no. Isn't that enough? <laughs> that, that's enough, isn't it? No. What's that line? Besides that, Mrs. Lincoln, how is the show? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. But, all right. Well, think good thoughts on uh, these tests. All right, do we have any correspondence? Yeah, I <coughs> have... Um, oh, wait a minute, <coughs> privilege of the floor number two, anybody? Oh, you did that. I did, prov yeah, I did too? Did. Oh, this is number three. <laughs> right, there you go. Right. Is, it, is it number three? 
agree now? Well, we go that extra mile. <laughs> yeah. Yes, no? Go ahead. Yes, would you like to say? Oh, I think it's a question of clarification. Um, so will there be a problem for the uh, golf course water? To it could be a problem yeah. for the sledding hill, yes. Yeah. Oh, for this winter. Because he uses town water right now to make snow, mm -hmm. and he ought to be taking a look to see whether he can pump I, water from his little pond to make snow, because I don't know what else he's going to do. Well, he, he was, he's planning on doing that anyway, but he okay. wanted to use public water to recharge the, the pond, the little pond. Oh, so he well. wanted to put water in the pond over the week, tell me, you use the weekend. can you figure a way to get it from the bad well? We don't care if there's bacteria right. in its pond, right? <laughs> That's correct. Um, so Reggie just gave us this little note before she left today. Um, she said, I've been thinking about our 50th anniversary uh, celebration. I've also been thinking about the idea of building a museum or historical society for the town. The timing for such an under undertaking is perfect. We could do fundraisers throughout the year to raise money for the project. My thought is that we could put an addition on to the library. I have been talking to fellow residents and have gotten all positive responses. I would like you to consider this and let me know if this is something we can do. Yep. So Great. Bob Fries came with this idea, what, four or five years ago? Yeah. I, I yeah. have no problem. Yeah. If you're talking about yeah. using, uh, trying to fundraise yeah, right. to, mm -hmm. to yep. erect a building by. Yeah. Yep. Okay to use the land by the building, yeah. oh, by the library. Right, mm -hmm. sure. And actually, Freeze might even have some plans. Okay. Because he really went a few steps on this. So I'll ask him for them. Okay. All right, anything else with correspondence? Um, I received a... I don't know if you want to take this up at your next meeting or not, but um, from the ski area, Tim dropped this off. They're changing the name of the North Star to the Snow Star Inn. They have taken the sign down, and they are redoing the sign, basically changing North Star to Snow Star. Um, so it'll be exactly the same sign. Right. Um, do you need to, do you want to approve this? Do you want to take okay. it up at your next meeting? No. Oh. Is the, uh, are, do, some of the direct, uh, dire, are there any directional signs uh, that are out on the highway or anything that say North Star Inn? I don't think so. No, I don't think yeah, it just says inns, right? I think it says okay. just yeah. inns or lodging. Okay. I don't, you, I, 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 I would, don't need to I, see a I, sign. I would approve it with the caveat. Mm -hmm that as he knows we are working for a uniform sign ban and he might right. be required asked in a, when we adopt that to change the new design to that okay all right all right and i think that's you had the question about the conservation commission under yeah, you still have the members. We, we basically need to, I, I thought there was concern about being able to get that started again. It seems well, to me we got see. enough names. We do. <laughs> what do we need to do? Um, the chair needs to call a meeting. Call a meeting. Right? Call a meeting. Do we need to appoint these people all to the? No, they're all, they're all currently on the commission. Other than, other uh, than, other uh, than Chris than, Beerbrier. Uh, Chris Beerbrier Martha. So why don't we, why don't we, I, I, I would suggest that we appoint Chris and Martha so that he's got a bigger pool to draw from and then he can call a meeting. How many people are supposed to be on the Conservation Commission? Do we have a guideline? There, yes, it's a five member okay. board and, and, and. And how many members do we have? We have five. Without these two? Without these two. So why are we appointing two more? Because sorry, everybody, I, I look, I, I'm, I'm not sure what the issue is. I understand that this, everybody, seven, that we can't get a functioning four. conservation commission. That's right. They can't get a quorum. They can't get a quorum. Well, no, that's not completely accurate. Okay. They have, had, they have called meetings where they have not had a quorum show up. Right. So they have, you have six names. There is a missing ex officio member from the planning board because right. Harry resigned. 
All right. All right. So that is a, and the planning board has asked the last three meetings if anyone from the planning board wanted to volunteer and no right. one wants to. But we need okay. one to make the conservation. But we need one. There, there should be a sitting ex officio member from the planning board on the conservation commission. Okay. So you have these six people. Right. They have been calling meetings with for these six people. They have not had a quorum of these six people show up. Who are the six people the that are on? Read, read the names again. David Orlash. He's Gene, the chair. Yeah. yeah. Gene Mullen, Paul Sullivan, Mike Fergal, and Bob Wilds. Is there one of those individuals that uh, we might want to uh, ask to join the yeah. planning board? That'll solve the ex officio problem. <laughs> And, and we need some planning board members anyway. You need an alternate, yeah. You need two alternates on the planning board. Why don't you circulate the request for... What I would first do I mean, Jean Mullen would be wonderful. Yeah. She'd be willing to do it. Uh, you know, I would think. Yeah. Right? Okay. Should we ask Jean if she... I would think that would be a great idea. If she wants to join the planning board, yeah. then we have an ex-officio. Yep. Yeah. But you're saying there isn't a problem. I, I, well, I, I've been heard that they, there are no members David, on the commission anymore. And David told me that he didn't feel that there was a problem, okay. but that he that would not okay. call a meeting until he felt like there was business to be but, excuse me, okay. Isn't there a requirement of the Conservation Commission to meet or prepare a paper? Someone mentioned this to me. There is a requirement they have to do of something of some kind of meeting, whether there's business or not, within a certain time frame. Could you check into that? I will. And ask him to do that, and then he can make his decision on who's who's going to stay on and who's not going to stay on. And once we have that, then we can figure out if we need new need new people. Yeah, I yeah. Okay. It's okay All with right. me. Yeah. And if he can't if he can't get a, a, a quorum together, then he has to really reassess what he's doing. Okay. Okay. You, you still have vacancies in the alternate positions. Do you want? We're gonna. You're gonna appoint. Well, I I, I would see if Gene would would uh, yeah. it would agree as an alternate on the planning board because I'll solve the ex officio problem. Right. I certainly have no problem with asking Chris Breerbrier and the others if they're willing to serve as alternates. Okay. On the conservation commission, give them a bigger pool to work with. Okay. So he calls a meeting. Maybe some of them show up. Okay. But like you, I, I'm not sure I know exactly what the purpose of yeah. the commission is, other than everybody keeps saying we have to have one. <laughs> and I don't even know who everybody keeps saying. Yeah. Maybe we don't have to have one. Okay. I'll find out what their bylaws say. Okay, great. All right, so we'll deal with that again on the next. Have we got anything else? No. Okay, I have one thing for non-public. Okay. okay. Which will only take a second. So uh, it is 14 minutes after 4 o'clock, and we're going to go into non public. Thank non -public. you all for coming. Do, 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 do. <laughs>